Henna, which comes from the Lasonia enormis, is also known and referred to in the Bible as campfire. It comes from fragrant white flowers grown in clusters. It carries such a delicate, sweet licorice note that creates a marvelous perfume with an orange tone. Henna leaf absolute, which is a very thick green paste, described by some as a deep green herbaceous tea-like bouquet, is now mostly used for perfumes and biblical blends. It blends well with neroli, tonka bean, absolute, lavender, blue chamomile, rose absolute, lang lang, and so many other sweet spice oils. In Israel, this treasured fragrance was used for skin ailments and to treat serious skin condition such as leprosy and bulls. In Egypt, it was rubbed all over the body to keep one cool. Henna played another important part in the Egyptian life as well. The scent of the henna flower was thought to bring the dead back to life and was used on the skin to keep it soft and supple. In making a fashion statement, they used it to stain their nails red as well as other parts of their body. To not do so, would have been considered uncivilized and inferior. In ancient times, the bride in the Middle East would apply this spice to her hands and feet at night before the wedding. This practice had begun to resurface as American brides today decorate their body with a temporary henna art for their wedding. Today, henna is commonly used for tattooing and is an important ingredient in camphophonique, an orangey red substance, liquid, used on minor cuts and scrapes. The Song of Solomon 113 verse 14 says, My beloved is a cluster of henna blooms. The Hebrew word for henna or campfire is kofir, which means ransom or price of life, with its root word meaning to forgive. In the Middle East, a bride applies the spice of henna as a paste to her hands and feet on the night before her wedding. The spice yields a red stain which signifies the ransom of sinners through the shedding of Yeshua's blood on the tree.